Uh, joining us now is Andrew Lowney. Hey. Uh, thank you so much, Andrew. Great to have you on the show. Uh, I think you and I spoke once before about your bid to get uh, documents about Lord uh, Mountbatten. Uh, but uh, the shutters do seem to close, don't they, around members of the royal family? Uh, uh, and absolutely. in this respect, in terms of Prince Andrew, for 10 years, he flew around the world at our expense, allegedly uh, doing trade deals or helping to form trade deals. Uh, he was notorious for always asking for hotels that were close to golf courses. Uh, we need to know about this uh, decade when he was touring the world at our expense. And yet uh, you're being told, I gather, that these documents have been destroyed or lost or don't exist. What do you make of all that? Well, it's obvious there's a big cover-up going on. I mean, it's not one FOI request. These are dozens and dozens of FOI requests going back over many years that I've been putting not just to the Department of Trade, which was responsible for him, but also the Foreign Office who coordinated the visits. Uh, and they put up a whole series of excuses. First of all, they have so much material that they asked me to uh, uh, focus my requests. When I focus the requests on specific visits and dates, uh, having been briefed by the very diplomats who are actually dealing with the correspondence, I'm then told that they don't have this material. And they have a variety of things they do. They claim that there's a cost compliance and therefore it's too expensive for them to do it. Uh, they will play with semantics. You've asked for telegrams and we don't have telegrams. You've, uh, you know, a whole series of things that they use quite clearly because they don't want to answer. And by the law, these documents should be put in the National Archives within 20 years. I mean, this is a statutory requirement and they're clearly not doing that. Uh, and the big question is, where are these documents? Have they been destroyed? Something like 95% of documents uh, are destroyed with no public record kept. Uh, or, or are they just being hidden somewhere in Buckingham Palace so no one can use them? And I think these are important because we need to know who was accompanying them on these trips. Were there people who were uh, supporting British trade or were they actually lining their own pockets? Many of the people I'll, I have researched, and I'm writing a biography of him, uh, were actually pay paying off his bills and Fergie's bills. So there's, there's an element of corruption, I think, going on here. Uh, and we just need a little bit more transparency and accountability to understand what has been happening. So, I mean, you've actually answered the question I was going to answer to some degree. I was going to say, you know, if they have been disappeared, why? What might they show that's going to be so controversial? I mean, do we have any public record of where he went and at what dates and things like that? Or has the whole lot been vanished? Well, we do have a record. The court circular at the time published a record. I mean, that court circular is now being taken down. Uh, I know from talking to people in the Department of Trade that the internal computer has no more references to uh, Prince Andrew. And I know from other freedom of information requests that uh, all papers connected with him will be closed until 2065, uh, when we'll all be dead. Um, that's on his royal role. But they play with all sorts of FOI exemptions. The royal exemption, even though, as you say, he was a public servant paid for by the taxpayer, they play around with data protection. Anything, basically, to get around the Freedom of Information Act, which was brought in to bring some sort of transparency uh, into uh, official life. Any doubt but in yes, your mind... Really, uh, so, sorry to interrupt. Any doubt in your mind, Andrew, that what's going on here is traditional British forelock touching uh, deference to the royal family, trying to protect this clearly dodgy uh, member of the royal family? Is, is that what you think's happening here? Yes, I have no doubts. And I mean, it's, it's happened with all the books I've written on the royal family. Documents which, you know, should be published are closed. I have I did a book recently on the Duke of Windsor. And even the 1930s files on him are closed. I know that, for example, files on Spencer Wallace Simpson were destroyed in 2005. This is the sort of curation of our history, which is by the rich and powerful to present and protect themselves and present them in a much better light. And it means our history is being destroyed. Totally, and I just yeah. wish some parliament, some government officials and some parliamentarians would deal with this uh, because it's like living in a sort of China or Russia, not in a democracy. 